Thank you. Every week, we tell you about stray animals in the community that need forever homes. Now, a local rescue group, local rescue groups, they're coming together to save the savable. The new online campaign kicked off just this week and features pets at the Pima Animal Care Center that need extra special care or may otherwise face a much different fate. Nine on your sides, Whitney Clark is joining us to tell us how shelters are becoming part of the no kill movement. Whitney. Good evening, Guy and Stella. Well, a few years ago, euthanasia was all too common at PAC. Live, rele uh, live release rates were at about 40% five or six years ago. Just last month, they were at 85%. The shelter now doing even more to find animals that may be put down a home. This is Floyd. He doesn't like his kennel, his own home, a scary, unfamiliar cage. He's not 100% comfortable with his environment, so he's not showing his true personality. Take Floyd outside of his kennel. Oh boy! Oh boy! And he's a different dog, one who wants a real home. The shelter environment is a very scary, stressful place for a pet. So the behaviors that we see in the shelter are not always the behaviors that how this pet is going to um, present in their home. Volunteers at PACC want to find Floyd and other special pets like him a forever home. So they have a new site called Save the Savable, a campaign to reach out to adopters willing to put in a little extra work to make the perfect pet. It's not always a lifetime problem. Um, a lot of these are short-term medical fixes, and um, the pets are, you know, perfectly normal, healthy, happy pets. About 40% of the animals at PAC, like Plethora, need medical treatment. The 10-year-old Chihuahua has an ulcer in her eye and needs dental work. But in a few weeks, she'll be healthy. One of the savables, like Buffalo, Simba, and Marvin. Finding them homes, part of a bigger plan to end euthanasia in Pima County, which used to be the norm. We've really come to the point that we've decided that, you know, we can do better. There are better options out there than euthanasia. With help from community donations and other rescue groups, euthanasia rates have been cut in half. Two years ago, it was um, a fantasy for us to think that they would use the words no kill. And the fact that they're working so diligently to change things here and change programs and policies and practices is amazing. PAC has other programs that emphasize helping sick animals like foster care and an increase in treating medical, medical conditions on site. For more information about how you can adopt, you can head to our website. That's kgun9.com. Whitney Clark, KGun9 on your side. Whitney.